Well, today it's 8th of Mars, new day and uh, almost the same sortiment. But I have this uh, home light uh, sip extra and I'm ready to go to the wood place. So you can follow me and see if I can finally buck some with this uh, home light sip, which I uh, I needed to take out the carburetor again and uh, just uh, um, the inlet and change the inlet as so many other zip chainsaws there is uh, almost uh, like a new variant on every one of them uh, seems like home light uh, was on top of the game of changing uh, small details everywhere so it has another pulse uh, inlet patent on the inlet there was some difference uh, because I had a carburetor and the chainsaw worked okay but uh, it was leaking out gasoline from the Venturi so I need to find a new carburetor I, I had a new I have parts I have part uh, chainsaws so I changed the carburetor but I also changed the inlet which has a, had a small uh, difference and then the, um, I had a problem to get it uh, uh, run continuously as you saw on uh, on the clip <coughs> I think I showed that uh, but now I will test it again with a new inlet and the same uh, changed uh, carburetor and let's see um, if there could be some uh, bucking uh, qualities on this old uh, uh, zip uh, chainsaw So let's go to the wood place and I still have the Yobu with me, the Yobu 5, LF5 maybe it is and uh, Home Light uh, XL12, Home Light XL Automatic, Home Light XL122 and the Yobu L6. So it could be a nice trip to the wood today too and there is my felling spikes and a sledgehammer let's see how it goes then it is a little snowy here on the wood place today and it's evening starting to getting close to four o'clock or maybe a little more <clears throat> but I uh, hopefully can do a little and I take out the two of the blue ones. And uh, the home light uh, I want to try, XL12, one of the most common chainsaws uh, from the old days. Uh, because it's produced in many many years it's uh, 54.2 cc and this one has a brand new Chinese uh, chain and uh, I want to go down there and chop on the tree work further on that tree and I want to uh, buck a little with a home light uh, sip so it's too same colored home lights going to use that now and see how that goes i think i got the home light uh, sip uh, swinging i don't remember how much cc it is is it 77 or something uh, rather big and uh, looking very cool both of them and uh, home light uh, XL12 should be very good. I better get started before it's become dark and uh, too late.
symptomatic for uh, several of my XL chisels. They kind of bug down and dies. And I can uh, notice on my hands it's a little heavy. There is no, uh, it's only metal on the front handle. So it's a little bit uh, uh, bad friction on the handle. It kind of slips in my hands because I have low friction gloves on me. That's the gloves I found. And uh, well, I go and find a home light zip. What I want to do is to box with this old cool chainsaw. The home light zip. There will be a success, I don't know. Start on.
My point is that it's working and I fine tune it later on and uh, look on the chain later on. Need maybe some adjustment and my camera don't like all this rain. So there is some uh, rain snow coming down. But I think uh, we handle that. Start to become a little cold on my fingers. But that was cool that it was working that stable. Not bad at all. It's uh, using fuel, no doubt about that, but uh, did the job and working fairly good, but it's, uh, it's a little nasty day, cold and snowing.